So Kitchen Jubilee House is a long-term transitional housing program located in Aurelia. We provide women and children with two bedroom, fully furnished apartment units for up to four years. And during the course of the pandemic, we really saw a rising need in our community. Uh, there's rising food costs, rising inflation, and with a looming recession, we realized we needed to help uh, support women in our outreach program so that they can retain housing. Uh, we're finding that there's many uh, women in our community who are very, very close to losing their housing and at a time when our emergency shelters are unable to accommodate uh, and affordable housing is just not readily accessible. Uh, so often the support can look like not only providing housing in our transitional home, but in our outreach program we can also step in to provide women with good food boxes, bus passes, rec center passes, programs for their children, group programming, and most importantly, access to our psychotherapy clinic. And we really see that high quality, frequent access to psychotherapy can absolutely change lives. Across Simcoe County, no matter the mission or the organization, we are seeing the number one need is for affordable housing. And while we can work with women in our transitional home and our, our outreach program to support women to overcome individual obstacles to finding and retaining housing, we must also advocate for more affordable housing because ultimately affordable housing scarcity is a policy choice. So we are advocating for more supportive and transitional units, rent geared to income and supportive housing units. We have developed really amazing relationships with our local government and municipal government. Uh, so they are often invited um, to rallies that we've hosted. Um, we've also partnered a lot with environmental groups uh, because we really realized that while we're building a supportive community, we must also build a sustainable community for women to transition into. Uh, and what we've seen recently, especially with Bill 23, is that if housing advocates are not partnering with environmental advocates, we can see really destructive legislation. Uh, so we're advocating for not only affordable housing, but affordable housing that's located in communities that are you know, walkable, affordable, connected to transit, not located in a food desert. And we really see that in infill developments, uh, not sprawl. We really like to let people know that when you make a donation to Kuching Jubilee House, you have an immediate impact on the lives of women and children who are remaining housed, but you have a, a generational impact. Uh, we know that when children's lives are stabilized, they're able to grow and develop in ways where they can break cycles of, of poverty and trauma, uh, and they won't face the same challenges and barriers that their parents might have. Uh, and the next way you can really support is by supporting infill developments in your community for affordable housing, uh, advocating for more affordable housing in your community, uh, and supporting uh, movements like YIMBY uh, and Green Aurelia as another partner that we would, we would uh, ask people to support.